Thank you, Max. Uh, you know, my next guest from American Pie 1 and 2 and Scary Movie, starting next Friday, she can be seen in the brand new movie 13 Ghosts. Let's take a look. Maybe Rafkin was right. Maybe they're really Kathy. Hard. Think about what you're saying. There's no such thing as ghosts. Please welcome Shannon Elizabeth. You look very Hi. beautiful tonight. Thanks Thank for being you. here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's very nice to have you. You know, I, uh, I'm curious about this American Pie and the uh -huh. American Pie movies. You're obviously very beautiful. You, you end up falling for the geeky guy. In I those do. movies. And I'm curious, has that made geeky guys think that they have a, a shot with you? Has it made them, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Has it made sort of geekier guys think, hey, I, you know, because a lot of times people are influenced by what they see in the movie and they think, hey, that's the kind of guy she likes. I'm going up there, I'm taking off my glasses and I'm going to give it a shot. Well, you know, I think geeky guys should have that kind of mentality anyway because they're always the ones that grow up to make something out of their lives. They're made fun of in high school. People put them down, and so they have all this ambition to, to get out of high school or college and be like, I'm going to show them, and I'm going to be successful, and they're the smart ones. They spend their time studying, not trying to hit on a girl. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, was that wrong? <laughs> I know more than you'll ever know what you're talking about. But it is true, you know? They're the, it's, if you have that seed of discontent when you're younger, it, it turns you into an uberman later in life. Absolutely. I mean, it's that way with girls, too. I, I had a horrible high school experience for the most part. And Why is that? I just never felt like I fit in, you know? I, Were you I, one of those girls who, and I hear this a lot, women who end up being very beautiful always say that they had this awkward stage. I never believe it. I always think they're <laughs> saying that to sort of, oh, no, I had it rough, too. And then, you know, you look at a picture of Cindy Crawford when she was, like, 17, you're like, that is not an awkward phase. I wish I had a picture for you because I had, like, I, my mom was teaching me how to do makeup at first, so it was all blue, blue eyeshadow, blue liner, and, and she's, she's blonde hair and blue eyes, so it just didn't go with what I had. And, right. And then I grew up in Texas, so lots of hairspray, big bangs, curly hair. Like, it took me hours to get ready, and I still look like crap. Well, you, <laughs> were you, all, you sound highly flammable, too, when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> were you really, uh, because you're, you're quite tall, did you have that thing that some women have where you were just, you taller know... Taller than the guys? Yeah, taller than the guys and yeah. also sort of, like, crazily tall for that age? No, I had a friend that was crazily tall. I was right below that stage. L a little less crazily tall, but right. tall. Taller right. than the guys. The guys spurted up later and I was always, you know, no heels, no nothing. I, I, you can't get a boyfriend when you're taller than them or you're bigger than them or... I had this crazy thing happen to me, true story. I had a growth spurt, my legs grew, but my torso did not grow. Right. Seriously, and then like my torso grew later. But when I was 18, I had the legs of like a six foot six guy. <laughs> and then resting on top of that was this tiny little eight year old boy torso. <laughs> so like my belt was here and I was like, ladies, how are you? Oh, you know, it was horrible. It's so what's worse? Would you rather have that or would you rather have this really long, manly torso and these little stubby legs? At the I'd like to look like a normal human being, <laughs> is what I would like. Well, you look normal now. Thank you. Very <laughs> Not so bad yourself. very funny. Oh, well, thank you. you I said go. I like this part of the interview. <laughs> tell me more about me. I've always wanted to come on here. I'm very <laughs> excited to be here with you. Now, uh, you are, you, you're engaged. I is am. that right? Yeah. You're engaged. And I find out that the guy you're engaged to uh -huh. is from my hometown. Is. of Brookline, Massachusetts. Is that right? Yes, he is. He's that... very excited about that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's all you talk about. <laughs> no, and we'll, we'll be sitting, you know, in bed watching your show. He's like, I remember when you first came out, he's like, he's from my hometown. He's funny. He's from my hometown. Look, look, look. He's successful. He's from my hometown. And he always wanted to take me back to, to see his hometown. Now, what part of town is he? Is he from this? Do you he's actually, does he know where I used to live? Um, he told me you lived in Whiskey Point, but that we couldn't go there. <laughs> Whiskey but, Point? Well, he said we couldn't go... I lived go... there with the other hillbilly gangs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he said it's an all-Irish area, and because we weren't Irish, we couldn't go see it, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's populated by leprechauns. 
his mom sees leprechauns a lot, actually. We, uh, no, I, my, my family lives near Whiskey Point. My mom would be really upset if I said we lived in Whiskey Point, because okay. it doesn't sound too good. We're from Whiskey Point. <laughs> Arrgh, jump, 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 jump. Yeah. No. Know exactly which areas we were in. I just knew we were in Brookline, and and I got to see his high school. And he, did he go to Brookline High? Yeah. Oh wow! So he went to my high school. Yeah. Probably some of my old football trophies are still there in glass. And, you know, even more exciting, I got to see where he climbed to the roof with some girl in high school. You know, and and hung out and. That's great, honey. I, I'm <laughs> What's so he telling glad? you that for? That's so crazy. He should keep those stories to himself. Oh, many stories. <laughs> um, what about an accent? Does that you bothered at all by the Boston accent? Well, it's it's not as bothersome with the guys. When the girls have the accent, it's a little strange. Uh, he was telling me when he grew up in high school, he worked at his parents' t-shirt shop. And this girl came in and uh, she was obviously from Boston because she came in, she's like, You got a hat? He's like yeah, we got hats right along the wall here. Said, no, 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 hat! We got hats right here. A hat, a hat! What are you, retarded? <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's looking for a teaser with a heart on. He's like, oh, a heart. Yeah, I'm retarded. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's retarded. Retarded. It's wicked pissa. Uh, I'll teach you all this. It's great. Oh, he's taught me. He's been on all like the movies and TVs that were set, TV shows that were set in Boston. So, right, right. you know, right away if he goes into audition, as long as he adds Wicked Pisser in there, they're like, "Oh my God, you're from Boston. You know, you they, know the lingo." <laughs> they shot my most exciting moment uh, after uh, like uh, when I was like 22 was they shot a Spencer for Hire at Brookline High School. Really? And I watched it with all my friends and like you know Robert Urich's running like there's a bomb in the cafeteria and he's running to the cafeteria and I was sitting there I was like. You can't get to the cafeteria from those <laughs> stairs. <laughs> and everyone else was like, whatever. And I'm like, ha, ha, those doors aren't even there. <laughs> Woo, you know. I remember Karate Kid 3 coming out. He's like, that was filming my high school. <laughs> Karate Kid 3, Karate Kid 3. It's the things we get excited about. <laughs> no. Let's talk about the 13 Ghosts. Uh -huh. this, is a, this is a scary movie. It's a horror Halloween suited to be classic. Did you get, were you at all, I mean, if you're making a frightening movie, do you, at, does that affect how you feel at the moment? Do you feel, are we at all scared making the movie? Does it create a creepy environment? Yeah, I didn't think it would, but I, we were filming in Vancouver, so I was in this kind of like hotel apartment, and I was, you know, by myself, foreign country, and every day when I would go home, we had these closets in every room that were full-length sliding glass door closets, and then this back room that was like a little storage room. And I couldn't sit down when I got home and just watch TV. I was so afraid people were hiding in my closets. So I would have to get my pepper spray. And I would like sneak up to the closet as if I'm going to scare the intruder that could be in there or something. And I'd have to open it really fast and make sure nothing was in there. And Did I you just... ever just spray your clothes like in a pure panic? <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Do you smell like pepper spray for months? Yeah, you know, it, just just in case. So that's kind of why I don't bathe. So if if I smell, people I was going to ask about that. Me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the audience was about to ask too. What uh, you can take care of yourself though, right? I heard that you're you know martial arts. I'm, I've been studying Krav Maga, which is back up. What is that? I never heard of that one. <laughs> it's an Israeli self-defense fighting tactic. Um, Krav, say it again. Krav Maga. Krav Maga is an Israeli defense tactic. Mm-hmm. Cool. How, and what, what's like a move? And well, what, do you, what do the Israelis know that we don't know? Would you like me to show you? Yeah. You, okay. What do I do? Come here. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> so what, what do I do? Here, stand on this side. I'm, I'm okay. And what am I? Am I your attacker? Yeah. You come up and you choke me. Oh, okay. So I, when I start, and I start like this. <laughs> How many attackers start like this? Like. Hello, my dear. I just thought I might <laughs> choke you. Yeah, you gotta turn so around. So I, I, okay, I gotta turn around. Yeah. But then I can't see me. Uh, no. <laughs> All right. So I come at you, and what do you do? I just start to go like this, and whoa. Oh, okay. That's that was good. Thanks. Well, part but of my hands brush down over your body. Right. <laughs> I swear that's like part of Krav Maga. I'm like, it's like cool, huh? Make it first yeah. usually and then do it. <laughs> After that part, I'm like, do what you want. <laughs> we have to go. Thank you so much for being here. Thank You're a great you. guy. Please come back, all right? All right, everybody, Sam Elizabeth, everyone. We're gonna take a break. We'll be right back with Sugar Ray.